This is everything you need to know about skiing in Japan. Okay, so we just landed in Tokyo and we are gonna go out tonight. Tomorrow we're heading to the mountains and in this video I'm going to tell you how much it costs to ski in Japan, the best way to get to the mountains from Tokyo, and at the end I'll give my full review of the experience. So here we go. Tokyo is the most populated city in the world and I'm not a huge city person but I love Tokyo because of its organized chaos. I was really excited to spend a night here before going to the mountains. We're in Japan! Ah! Okay, what should we eat? Our first stop was Omoide Yokocho, which translates to Memory Lane or Memory Alley. It's also nicknamed Piss Alley. It's a small little street in Shinjuku area of Tokyo where you can find hole-in-the-wall restaurants that seat anywhere from six to ten people. It's really fun to go here and get skewers and other small plates. The next morning we got out of Tokyo but not to go skiing just yet. I decided I wanted to see Mount Fuji and it was the perfect beautiful day to go do so. I'm so excited because the last time I was in Japan, I did not get to see Mount Fuji. And so we took a day trip down here today and could not have asked for a better day. This is why it's better to see Mount Fuji in the winter months. It's more dry, so you have a higher chance to see it. I came in the spring last time and overall throughout the year, there's only a 20 to 30% chance of seeing it, but your odds are better in the drier months like now. If you have time, I highly recommend taking a day trip down to Fuji from Tokyo. This was super easy. We booked it with Get Your Guide. It was an hour and a half bus ride down to the Fuji Lakes region. And I loved doing it as a day trip because, you know, we knew that there was going to be good weather and that we would see it rather than spending a night in the region and not being guaranteed, which is what I did on my first trip to Japan and spent way too much money on a room that had a view that was not visible. Here's the video of that. But anyways, let's get to the point of this video. We are now going to Hakuba Valley. I say it wrong a few times, you'll notice. There were multiple pronunciations and I tried my best, but it's Hakuba Valley. And we're on our way there now, day three in Japan. Let's go skiing. We arrived in Hakuba after a 45 minute bus ride from Nagano station directly to the Hakuba main bus station. This cost about 25 US dollars or 2,800 yen. Pro tip, you can then pick up your lift tickets if you ordered them online. You'll get a QR code sent to your email and you scan it at this machine, but you can also purchase lift tickets closer to the mountain at the stands near the main chairlifts. It may save you a few dollars to purchase online prior, but lift tickets cost around 2,400 yen for three days and you can use that over the course of a six day period. This is is about 160 US dollars. That's less than one day skiing in most major resorts in the US. Now it was time to check into our Airbnb, get ready and hit the slopes. Okay, so we're in Hakuba Valley. There's 10 mountains here, 10 or more. You can shuttle around to all of them. So today we're skiing and snowboarding at Hapo One and we're gonna see how it goes. And then tomorrow we're gonna have fresh powder and we're gonna check out one of the other ones. And when you get a ski pass, it's all included to take the shuttle for free. So it's awesome. Now we're taking the gondola up and it's kind of scary. good today especially the visibility is a lot better and one thing I noticed I think the green runs here are harder than the green run runs in the states I would say they're more like a blue the blue square at home um, but that's fine I think you probably don't want to be a super beginner here but if it's been a couple years you'll be fine yay we're getting fresh powder now i think tomorrow is going to be the best day i'm really hoping for blue skies but oh my gosh but i don't think it's going to happen we'll see i'm with matt right now he hasn't fallen yet i have i slid down the mountain like <laughs> spread eagle it was great but i swear to god the lifts here 
I mean, the, the hills here are harder. Don't you think? Yeah. They're harder, yeah. It's not just me. Dude, I need to lose problem. This is so crazy. We're walking downtown right now. It's downtown Echo Land is where we're staying. It's a really great place to stay in Huxville Valley if you're coming here because there's a ton of restaurants, shops. You can get everything you need here, ski rental, everything. And it's really cute. It reminds me of, I don't know, a little, it kind of reminds me of like a Breckenridge type of village, but yeah, it's in Japan. It's still dumping. It's still dumping. You know what? I kind of love like the feeling of just being a puff in the snow and just like kind of like wobbling around, you know? And you're just kind of like. Are you recording that? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. Like being a puff and you're just like. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love it. Maybe I was born for the snow. Should I move here? No. Why not? Move to Tokyo. I know, I do want to live in Tokyo. That's the thing. I feel like if I spoke Japanese, would love to live in Tokyo for a year. Will that happen though? Probably not. Yeah. Oh. Okay, um, Matt is wearing, he rented these boots. Do these not remind you of like what you would wear in fourth grade when there was a snow day? I had these same ones. How much were those? <laughs> uh, to rent? No well, I think you should keep them. They're so cute. So whenever I travel with Matt, people think he is in his 20s. So I'm not gonna tell you guys how old he is, but you can just guess. It's actually crazy. So obviously you can Google it, but don't. So it's kind of hard to find like authentic Japanese food here. It's all very westernized. And one thing I always say is like, if you're going to a restaurant in another country, you want to go somewhere where the menu is not in English. Um, most places here though do have an English version because there's a lot of Australians um, and Americans probably, but this place looks promising. So we're going to find out. Okay guys, I was just told that they want to be a part of this more. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gee, yeah. <laughs> so. It's all about to get more fun because now they're in the video. Most of my stuff's in English funds. Yeah, because it's nice. Like, you don't have to think about it. You just saw $100 a month. I own Apple, not going anywhere. I own JP Morgan Chase, not going anywhere. I own Walmart, it's, it's not good, right? Come on, it's actually good. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they need to come here. The girls shouldn't have played. Like, Dude, this is actually maybe <laughs> the first good sushi we've had here. All of it. All of it. All of it? Oh, oh, oh. Everything, everything, everything. <laughs> I think we're just going to order the whole everything, thing. Everything, everywhere. All, All time. at once. All I'm tired. I lay on my couch and play chess. Online? It doesn't, that's not what this conversation is about. It's about optimizing the time you have on Earth. So he's saying, yeah, don't that's, waste that's, your time. That's what I'm saying. Optimizing your time is a fool's game because everybody gets a set amount of time. You don't get to control it. Yeah, but with the time that you have, you can control it. Oh, yeah, you can control it. an hour, everybody you, you knew will be dead. Exactly. So that's my point, which is nothing matters. So do whatever. Uh, nothing doesn't matter. 
to live your best life. And in my best life, I'm going to have the most experiences okay, I can. So best life is a subjective thing. Exactly. Which is yeah, 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 yeah. deciding that you like to do things. Guys. And if there's anything that I like to do, I'm not judging you for saying Oh, no, I'm not judging you either. This is a conversation about... Because we like to lay in bed some days all day. And Matt, if he laid in bed all day, you would be depressed. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I just wasted a whole day. Now I feel sad. To me, I'm like, ooh, I just recharge. I think letting him And then I'm ready to go. Do what you want. It's your life. Do what you want. It's your life. You didn't think last night was a lot? That's not a lot to you. Last night? Yeah. No, I was definitely drunk last night. Yeah. I wonder if the bus is And this is why you book your tickets in advance or get them the day before because you just want to be going. top of the mountain and this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Okay, we just finished and I'm glad that I brought my snowboard. That's my snowboard. Um, you can rent here and it was about $150 for three days of skis, boots, poles, um, and a couple other things you might need if you're skiing. So that's not so bad, especially if you would bring your own stuff and you check that bag, which would cost about the same both ways here and back. So it would be better to just rent it. Um, because I used my points to fly business class here, it includes overweight and big luggage. So I saved money by not renting, but you could go either way and they had a lot of great renting options. But now we're done day three and I'm exhausted and I'm gonna get a massage. What are your reactions? Love the Cuba. Love the snow, need more of it. Hey, Haley, what are your reactions? Best day ever! Are you done for the day? I am, my knee hurts, I'm old. Yeah. I think after half the day, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Time for a massage. Yes. Something you need to know about Hakaba and getting around, the shuttles that take you from the cities to the mountains, they go on lunch break around 12 until 1.30. So don't leave or go to the mountain during those times if you want to take the free shuttle. You can also take a cab. It'll cost anywhere from seven to $15 probably. That's an option. at the Vive Spa. It's like a restaurant and a spa. And now in line to get a crepe for dinner at this little food truck. There's a lot of food trucks all over this town, which I really love. And I had pizza from one earlier and now we're gonna have a crepe. So this is where we're staying in Hakaba. We had an Airbnb, it was like four bedroom, two bathroom, group of us here. I think it was 300-ish a night, so not bad. Split between six people. Right, Matt? Yep. Also though, I did want to share one tip. After this car goes by, um, okay, so 
you really need to make reservations for anything you want to do in Hakaba, anywhere you want to eat at least. Uh, everywhere we tried to go, we did not have reservations and they had to turn us away, especially if you have a large group. We had six people, so make reservations probably weeks in advance and or just go at grandpa hour, which I love. Grandpa hour is 5 p.m. You might be able to get into the popular places then. Otherwise, reservations! We had a few days left in Tokyo, so we took some time to check out the new Harry Potter studio tour in Tokyo, which was super fun. I made a whole video breakdown of that experience over on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram yet, it's at Raimi Travel. And I hope you enjoyed my first ever travel vlog. If there are things you would have liked to see, please comment below because hopefully I will continue to get better at these. And I said I would leave you with my final review of skiing in Japan. And I have to say, out of five stars, I would give it a four out of five. The mountains were not nearly as crowded as places I've been in the United States. Some of the best scenery I've had while snowboarding. The cost was fair, unlike these resorts in the United States. There was enough to do at night, great nightlife. The people in the town were very nice. And the famous Japao, Japan powder, was a thing. We had a great powder day. The one thing I'll say is I wish some of the runs were a little bit longer. And some of the days I was there, the visibility was really bad. But other than that, it is a perfect destination to go skiing. Especially if you've never skied abroad before, it was very easy to get around with English. Skiing or snowboarding in Japan should definitely be at the top of your bucket list and if you haven't been to Japan yet, this is one of my all-time favorite countries after visiting nearly 40 countries. I've been twice now and I've plotted out all of the best restaurants, sites, things to do around the country on my Google map of saved locations. I'm going to link that below if you are taking a trip to Japan anytime soon and remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more of these and catch you guys next time. Safe travels! Yes.